Hey, what's happening guys? We're out here in uh, North Philly today. Uh, this property right here, we picked up probably, uh, probably about two months ago, maybe a little less, but I bought this from an investor that was going in, he was fixing it up, and uh, with the property, it wasn't 100% complete. It was probably about 90% complete, so I had to come in, get my guys, put new floors down, repaint all the walls, uh, update the trim, redo the bathrooms, redo the kitchen, and we have appliances that we're waiting on. Right now, they're on back order, but they should be here any moment now. However, we already started showing this property. It's four bedrooms, one bath, and we're able to maximize the space. And really, I used the existing blueprint that the previous investor had used. It's not my, my cup of tea. I would have changed some things around, but where the name of the game was to get in for a low number, get out for a low number, and keep it moving. Just put this thing right back on the payroll, get all of our initial cash back. So as we walk in, um, we put in the Tiffany blue door. I really like putting in the Tiffany blue door, especially with the gray and the white. It really complements the area. And I feel like with this Tiffany blue, as people walk in, it kind of creates a nice positivity, a nice warm feeling, a nice cheerful feeling as people are walking through the block, right? So I love the Tiffany blue door. So this space right here, this space right here is like a little living room, TV room, a little lounge for the, you know, the family to come in. They can have a couch, they can throw a TV right here. Uh, but this is a great space um, for entertaining as people come in. But here, there is an opening and there's a, a nice room where typically someone will use a dining room for this space on the other side of this wall. But instead, what we did was we put doors here on the front, we put these barnyard doors. These are custom made by my guy. But on the other side, we also put a door. So the reason why we put this door is because there's three bedrooms up top, but we're gonna make this bedroom right here in the middle another bedroom. So that's just gonna increase the amount of rent that we can receive. So I'm able to maximize and really squeeze all the potential rent value out of this property. So just by me putting these two doors, I'm able to increase my monthly earnings by at least $150 every single month for the lifetime that I own this property. Because the doors have to be able to lock. So for this barnyard door, you're like, hey Doug, how do we lock it? This is what this hook lock is. So this is one of my tactics back in the day when I was buying these houses that just needed light lipstick jobs, where I didn't even wanna switch out the handles I was just keeping it moving, right? So to pass the section eight inspection just needs a little hook lock. So these hook locks you can get for 98 cents and, and you just hook it on like that and it's just enough to keep someone out, right? So now we have this extra bedroom, this extra space, which is great for someone that doesn't wanna go upstairs every single night. They can put a bed down here, they can hang out. They even make this their TV room if they choose, but they can use this room however they please. But at the end of the day, for section eight purposes, we need this to be the fourth bedroom. So it's all about the psychic, right? It's all about getting in the heads of the potential customer. We want them to feel home at home. We want them to feel welcome. And we want them to feel proud of their space that they call home in which they can bring their family, to bring their friends. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna ask like, who's your landlord? This property looks great, it looks amazing. I wanna live in something like this. So that's what it's all about. So this back bedroom here, this is one bedroom. Um, we gotta put a cover right here, but um, we got a little small closet. Great LED lighting throughout, so it's very, very bright. And this is a nice small room for a teenager, for a child, or even an adult. And with redoing this bathroom, uh, we went ahead and just went right over, right over top of the floor. So this was tile floors, and we were able to take the luxury vinyl floors, go right over top. With going over top, we added new tiles to this bathroom. We went with, uh, what are these tiles? These are 15 by 30 tiles, fit very nice and smooth right within this bathroom minimum cutting and everything is ready to go the front room is the master bedroom so this is the room that needs to wow um the the owner of the property well, not the owner but the main tenant right the mom the dad uh, what have you so here wonderful lighting coming in great lighting coming in but i also went with the open shelving play here so we got open shelves so there's no doors right so it's just a a new modern style right so i kind of beefed that up uh, we use these one buys. We got a place to hang our clothes. We got a place to stack our sweaters or put our shoe boxes, right? Vertical. Then we also have some more shelving over here, which we could have our clothes nice and neat or a book uh, shelf, what have you. And we could put our bed against this wall and we just have a space where it's quiet, nice quiet block, very centrally located, is near Temple, is not that far from downtown, near Strawberry Mansion, near Brewery Town, but for a fraction of the cost, right? I was able to pick this property up for $53,000, 
and my rehab budget was ten thousand dollars i ended up adding the central air and uh, and uh redoing the bathroom so my budget came in about thirteen thousand so about three grand over the initial ten thousand which is fine because this property is worth about a hundred and sixty thousand dollars and I was able to get a loan on this property where I only had to come out of pocket nine grand, nine thousand dollars. So I'm gonna, when I go ahead and refinance, I'm gonna get that nine grand back, and I'll get an additional about thirty to forty thousand back in my pocket. So now I can take that money and buy up the block essentially. So that's the name of the game. So this is right here in North Philadelphia. This is an area that many people don't feel comfortable coming down, right? But I met the neighbors. The neighbors are very nice. They watch the property. Uh, they have a couple of older um, residents that live on this block, but it's all about just talking to the people, understanding you know, that you're a person, they're a person, and just being able to connect with them and then let them know what you're doing, what your plans are, and just being straight up like, hey, we're gonna be working on this property. We'll be out in a month or two. If you know anybody that's interested in, in nice quality housing, let us know.